Chapter 2. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, so chapter 2. Get some star charts so we can essay one of them, I'm guessing, just by finishing. We are in Master Difficulty. And let's see what we need to do. Alright, chapter 2 has begun. Looks like we need to go and... It doesn't pop up and tell me. In progress, go stop Kyo. Alright. We are in master difficulty. Uh, details. And move to location. Ah, there we go. Says priority. Probably warp right back to the same place. Alright, looks like we're going outside. Hmm. Just realized. Alright, let's get rid of her. Move them back in position. Add back Sora. And Surging Gale's badge. The power is nice, but we can do a little more power. Uh, we do damage 20%. Yeah, let's give her the Vitality badge. Alright, so this is Chapter 2, my gear. She has the Pains, Elpis, Dryad, Vitality badge. Uh, let's swap out Suzette back for Melody. I like her barriers and reawakened wind zone without having to think about it. Melody is defensive oriented. She has the enhance max HP wind or Yiffa, defensive oriented as well. Has 6,000 health. Soira, 320 luck, naturally, and a bunch of hit points to break 7,500. Azami, max, of HP, um, max HP katana, power gale katana, power waking katana, resonant power shadow, sound body katana, almighty power avenger. And resonant power shadow might not be too helpful Since Sesta is the only shadow character, so I'm going to swap out for low HP. In case Sesta takes damage, she'll do about 40% more versus the resident power shadows, whatever it gives you for just one shadow user. All right, sidekicks, Tetran, Gunts. I'm assuming I'm going to fight something, and I'm assuming I can use my own characters and not the KOF fighters, but we'll see. All right, I have control again. This is probably the way out. Yep. I'm assuming there's no treasure here, but just to make sure. The wiki says I'm going to face a fight in a moment, but there's no information about the boss posted yet, so I don't really know what the fight's like. And sure enough, no treasure chests, no sparklies, no nothing. Alright. Let's see what this fight is all about. Oh. Looks like we have an area to go through. Okay. You know, grab something to eat and let's get started on this. Alright, got some pizza and Mountain Dew. Let's see what's going on here. And if I get attacked, I think I'm going to want my preemptive back. Alright. 
speak of the devil. Alright, let's just see if I can auto attack him. Nope. Might have been able to if Suzette had been in the party and they had pain. Alright. Depravity, Benoct, and Twinblade. Oh yeah. Well, let's try that theory then. Hey there, Suzette. Forth the darkness. All right, anything in here? Something glowing. All right, so we need to collect batteries. Looks like there's three types. And the mechs will clear paths. <coughs> okay. Oh, look. Place to heal. That's convenient. Sawyer was kind of hurt. Any treasure? Nope. Alright, can we auto attack now? Better, but not perfect. So it looks like this is going to be a two-turn type of situation, in which case I do like Melody AS. She's able to restore the mana for the team. <clears throat> All right, and I like exploring, so I'm going to explore as much as I can from this map. If you don't care about exploration or these mechanics, feel free to skip ahead to the boss. And treasure chest. Oh, an HP badge. I wonder what kind of HP badge that is. And those are my saved ones. So let's scroll down to the not saved ones. <coughs> Alright, MPs, HP, MP. Hmm. 300 or 200 maybe? It seems pretty low. Guess so. So I guess technically this collab is available to anyone, what, level 30 and higher? Alright, if you want a 300 hit point badge, head down there. And Guiding Light Fists in this room. Light and Shadow Points are always welcome. So right there, Guiding Light Fists. Another treasure chest, and we get scrolls. And 
a battery. Gravity, F, and Foy Sincere. Much better. And now I should be able to auto attack. Yep, much smoother. Okay. So, master difficulty. Let's see, there's that. So, master difficulty does involve a little bit of effort. At least with this particular team. Your mileage may vary. Gravity, Ath, and Foy. The rationale here, I get the barrier from depravity and they get pain. Ath and Foy Sincere beef up defenses. And then because Melody's on the party, she restores everyone's mana at the end of the turn. look like anything was back here. Alright. Well, we don't have a purple battery, so the only choice we have is talking to Blue Robot right here. that way. Dead end, dead end, not a dead end. Who wants a bite? Listen, these are the cries of the voices. Blessings upon you. Oh, the crap. 
cries of the prisons. All right, purple battery. I assume red battery, and nothing. Well, as long as we're traveling, right we can talk a little about the KOF fights. Obviously, the first one I did with uh, Kyo was kind of uh, rough going, barely beat some of the fights. And I really wasn't enjoying it too much. When I started using Cyrus and Rika, they got a lot better. As you can tell, like each time kind of smoothed out. But still, like 12 fights, that was kind of a lot. Not sure how much I really enjoyed that, to be perfectly honest. But uh, the last three sets, once I kind of wrapped my head around the combos, were a lot easier. I will say that much. I wonder how many rooms are like this that... If this area is just like the only one... Hey, there's a red battery. Or if we work our way all the way up here and there's like another floor that is like this. So let's see. Blue battery. Alright, so we got a red battery here. The only option we have is to go back there and use it. When I was skimming through the four KOF fighters' skills, there was a lot of overlap. All four could do rage. All four basically had a one kind of buff or one debuff. I think most of them had just the one kind of buff. Oh, I just auto-attached, didn't I? That's not good. See, that's what I get for talking. Alright, let's see. Uh, Binocton Twinblade. Let's see if that's enough. Yep. Okay. Yay. Anyway, I really don't know which of the four I am going to Stellar Awaken first. Probably Kula, because three of them are basically blunt physical, and one of them is blunt magical. So Kula kind of intrigues me, being the only one that does magic damage. Looks like you can Stellar Awaken one just from completing the symphony. One, eventually, the Astral Archives, uh, or Symphonies. Eventually, the King of Fighters Astral Archives will open up, and there'll be some sources there. Looked like there was a super boss to knock out, which will undoubtedly give enough star charts. And then these things I collect after every single fight. Uh, voice is here. Okay, there we go. I know one star ring or whatever it is that Seller Awakens characters is a reward from those. And you need three. I forget where I read the other two came from. But it looks like it's out of the four characters, you'll probably be able to Stellar Awaken two of them without that much difficulty. And the other two are going to take some effort. Fighting spirits, that's what those are. I think you get one from a fighting spirit. Benchmark. Ooh, there's a blue battery. I wonder if there's a purple battery or you have to find a blue and a red battery. Oh, treasure chest. Prayer scripts. Alright, I got a couple thousand of them. Maybe not a couple thousand. Might just have like over 1,000. Alright, so prayer scripts right there if you need them. And murmur scripts. Now, those I definitely have several thousand of. I wonder if it shows up 
in the memoirs. Let's see. Oh, I know it shows up, but how early? All right. 2,600 murmurs, 1,378 prayers, and 36 chants. Go me. All right. Oh, looks like you can walk right through there. And I get for my trouble. Chance script? Oh, guiding light fists. Uh, that's, I can't complain about that one. Alright, so right there on the map you walk through and you can get a guiding light fists. And looks like that's it in this direction. Alright, I have one blue battery. And there's a blue robot, so that's where I'll head to. Pause for a second. We've not been able to access that area yet. Looks like... And then those purple robots. There and there. Alright, well, let's keep going. And fight something. I should probably just do this on repeat. Actually, I probably shouldn't, because then I'd use up extra mana. something. More scrolls. And that's helpful. I just blew a lot of scrolls getting all four of them to 80. Alright. I can go down or I can go up. Let's go up. Hmm. That's deceptively long. Alright. Still go up. Gravity, F, Foy. Blessings upon you. These are the powers of the voices. How's this? Aside from those three versus three fights, it's been pretty straightforward. There was the prologue, which gave one little easy sample fight to each person. And then you chose a character, you did a hunt, you did three rounds of fights. And then you moved on to the next character. Fairly repetitive, but not horrible. Something you could complete in an afternoon, I suppose. Alright, I got a red battery there. And there were two paths down. Whoops. There were two paths down that I kind of passed up. Let's go to the far one first. I'm so used to auto attacking. I love this team. 
We have barriers, we have heals, continuous awakened wind zones, buffages, Soira. I would say Soira can't be killed, but you all just saw her get killed a couple of times. But her defenses, once buffed, are absolutely insane. And then you got Tetra for all the healage and buffing up their defenses even more. Alter Shani came out with this uh, update as well, so she's kind of like a Soira-ish tank, but also has more buffs to make the team do a lot more damage. I have regular Shani, so I can save up her opuses and get her that way. So I'm trying to sit and be good and save my free stones. Alright, two reds. Guess let's go down the other path. So as much as I'm happy with this team, Soira might be able to be swapped out with Alter Shani. And this team would be even stronger. But I am a little curious about the defenses. Soira's voice Floor Breeze stacks three times and can go up to a reduction of power and intellect by 60% once fully stacked. And Shani's counterattacks apparently cause a reduction of power and intellect but doesn't go quite as high. So I think the team would actually take more damage overall if Alter Shani is the tank, but I think the damage output of the team is going to be much higher if Alter Shani is the tank. And then the question is, would Soira be the correct person to replace, or should we replace like Yifa? But Alter Shani has a cover, so it doesn't really, you know, it's basically a noblesse oblige, only uh, she only has a few charges of it. So I'm thinking that it's a Soira versus Alter Shani choice. All right, anything down here? No. All right, so we have two red batteries and one red robot. Is the red one going to block me now? Nope. But the blue one, wasn't there, was there a door there? Alright, well. What's up here? Sure. Good. All right, anything this way? Purple. All right, well, right now that blue one is the only one we can access. So I guess it's the only place we can go. And there was a door that way. 
Oh shoot, I just auto-attacked again. Wow. They lived. Okay. I'll take that. I'll just binoct it this time and hope that Twin Blade will be enough for me. Yeah, oh yeah, no problems. Didn't we go in that door? Was there any reason? Well, I guess let's go in there again. Well, just walked off. Aha. All right, new passageway. And here's the red battery option. Who wants a bite? Listen, these are the cries of the voices. If I actually did not have her with a preemptive attack, the pain would be up before she attacked, and more things might die, but be perfectly honest, I'm too lazy to switch out all my gear. I say all my gear, it's like one single badge. I'm too lazy to do that. I really can't wait for the UI option. That will uh, finally allow us to store things. Ooh, decision time. I only have one red battery and I could use it on two different robots. Purple battery. Okay, so... Now we do have a few decisions to make. I have one red battery. I could use it there or there. I have one purple battery, which I could use in three locations. I'm guessing this location will probably lead to our target. So I guess this might allow us to have like a connection back to the beginning. So let's try this one. Better be a battery in here, we're gonna be in some trouble. Oh, good. Any treasure chests? Nope. Alright, what's in here? More guiding light, maybe? Int badge. And aside from Shanghua, I don't really use int badges on anyone. Alright, I have two purple batteries. And one blue one. And there's one blue location. There had to be one more somewhere since we looks like we kind of need one to advance in the plot. All right, what else is here? Power badge. 
It's probably not a very high one. Let's see if we can tell. Power. Alright. Well, it's a not 40 or higher. So the best it could be would be a 35 power badge. And battery. Alright, so pretty much this isn't, it's large, there's a lot of places to go, but it's not that tricky to figure out. Once you collect a battery, for the most part, there was only one location to use it, so. Alright, this is the one location for a red battery. And sure enough, it made a connection back to the beginning. All right. Well, I'm thinking if we use the purple battery there, that will take us where we want to go. So let's find out what's in these two locations. And yeah, that'll involve a few more fights, but we don't want to pass up anything that might be really important. You know, like a stack of 10 chant scripts that we totally know is lying around in here. Purple battery number one. Oh, look, there's my ten chance scripts. Or guiding light fists. That makes sense. Are they all gonna be guiding light fists? Oh, there's a blue battery. Wonder what we're gonna use that on. No treasure chests. anything with a blue battery unless there's I don't know I think it would show up on the map oh well let's see what's going on all right you can't remove <laughs> remove a robot that you put a battery in earlier Guiding light fists. And there's a red battery. MP badge. I guess to go with the HP badge. Alright. And nothing else. Alright, so I have a red and blue battery, and I have no idea what for. Hey. All right, let's see. Guess there's nowhere else to go, so let's head to the blinking quest marker. And of course.
These are the cries of the voiceless. All right. Purple battery. Check. Start with two red batteries and one blue battery. And nowhere to use them. Okay, well, anyway, that's the map of the whole place. Let's see if there's another floor. Oh, nope. Guess we're at the boss. Alright, let's see what's gonna try and kill us. Actually, let me double check the team. Alright. Go ahead and do I want power or do I want a little bit of survivability? Yeah. We'll go with power. Alright, everything else look good. Okay. Alright, let's find out what's going to kill us. And we'll silently wonder why we have leftover batteries. Alright. Master difficulty phantom ruble. Another force gauge drained. Enemy endurance increased based on attack counter. Okay. Well, let's see. No, um, all my stats are up 20%, so it looks like that aura is active. All right, let's take a look at him. All right, once he takes damage, he has 50 stacks. So the more damages I do, let's see, 99 stacks at turn start destroy all enemies. Alright, so I don't want him to get stacks. If he hits 99, I lose. He has two revives. Desperate Ray, I don't know what that is. Alright. Blunt damage, let's see. Yiffa, I think, is the only one that does blunt damage. I guess technically if Melody actually just hit things with her staff. Alright, Rage. Alright, so... Defense, Defense, Pain, and Twin Blade. There's the counter going down. Wow. He hurts. Alright, well, let's knock his power out a little bit. Floor Breeze. Let's see, we don't want to do blunt attacks. Power. And let's do Dark Drill. have an AF gauge again. I'm half wondering if I should blow it to reduce those stacks and to get some floor breeze stacks up while we're waiting for Tetra to reincarnate. All right, well, let's just try it. So we're going to blow the AF gauge. We'll do a magical smash. Uh, and not actually... Uh, I'm so used to using an roar. We don't want blood attacks. All right, well, we're just going to hold off then. So, dark drill, floor breeze, and we'll redo... Benoct. We'll do Benoct again.
All right, so let's do, let's, if that's five turns, we'll do one more floor breeze. Redo Ath, Dark Drill. Alright, no more wind zone until Melody. Let's see, we'll probably have about two turns of waiting, so we'll do shield. Ath, and let's redo Foy Sincere. Right, his damage output is definitely reduced from the floor breezes. Floor Breeze, Binoct, Dark Drill, still got some time to kill. Oh, looks like he has a counter. Not that it's affecting Soira much. Alright, there's our wind zone. Floor Breeze. Been knocked and dark drill again. Keep those stacks away from 99. About one more turn from reincarnation. All right. So let's set up Foy Sincere, Ath, and we'll do one more. Uh, depravity. All right, reincarnation time. Hey there, Sesta. Floor Breeze. Been knocked. And... And Dark Drill. Crusher Blow. We'll redo. Yeah, let's do Magical Smash this time. Let's Faith Sesta while we can. And Floor Breeze it. So after Sesta initially got knocked out, we now have a Faith Sesta Awakened Wind Zone. Let's get a Depravity. Let's get a Binoct. And let's do Foy Sincere. I think this might knock out the first life. Yep. back up to 50 stacks, now 47, 46. Been knocked and twin blade. Let's do... He didn't clear his debuffs, that's good. So we'll dark drill and we will floor breeze. Actually, why don't we toss in an elemental guard just to be on the safer side. Oh, she is slicing him up now. Okay, it's now or never. Does that mean he's about to totally kill my team? (coughs) 
Okay. He is out of lives. And he kind of made um, something that basically makes me think that he's going to try and kill me. So I think now would be a good time to blast the AF gauge. We're going to crush her blow for a little while and then switch over to twin blade when the gauge gets around there. Work up some combo points. We'll uh, do one magical smash and then dark drill. We'll do an ath docus and not. Probably not in that order. And floor breeze since we're about to lose that. So we'll one, three, three, actually, let's do one, two, two, one, and then some threes in there. One, two, two, one. One, three, three, one. All right, there, I think we got everything I want in, so let's... I might not even need the twin blade. Nope, he's out of health. All right, well, let's just save the twin blade and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. So I don't know what he would have done to my team, but when you use up his last life, try to kill him in one turn. It looked like about 700 million damage was good enough for master difficulty. Quest complete. Two chapters. We got three storied fire fighter star charts. So I can stellar awaken one of the four characters immediately. And just from random battles and everything, I'm already at 10,000 fighting spirits. Though I think I needed 200 or 300,000 to get all the rewards. Alright, which speaking of, the Another Dungeon Evil's Nest Arena has been unlocked. And if you all passed up some of the treasures, you can go to the Space Time Rift Records room and go to Darkest Noah's Darkest Noah Past and pick them back up. Maybe we'll find a use for those extra batteries if we go back. The Astral Archive Tome is now available. I have some rewards, I guess. All right. Book of Phantom Rugal. Let's see what's already been cleared. Alright, I got four necklaces. And that is for raising the four characters to at least level 60. Alright, I need to clear the dungeon once. No conditions. Clear tournament mode battle phase one time. Defeat Rugal within eight turns. And defeat the evil's nest arena horror and clear all pledges, clear within five turns. So if we uh, do the dungeon, find the horror, kill the horror in five turns, that'll knock out this one. And then we get to fight, I'm assuming, Rugal. And I believe there's some more star charts locked up behind him once you get to that point. All right. Well, that is the entire symphony. Two chapters. And what's this? I guess we can continue fighting here. Probably for the Astral Archive opening. All right. Following that cutscene, it looks like we have access now. And... We can get more battle cores. And I assume we can fight in the tournament. Yep. Oh, we can exchange... Let's see. Scrolls. Unleashed badge. What is that? Power 20. Fire type attack 10. Okay. Psychic idol... Oh, true badges. Yep. Or true uh, Grasta. 
One, two, three, four, and storied fire fighter star chart. All right. One of the three star charts that you need to stellar awaken someone, you have to participate in this until you at least get 150 medals. After that, if you don't care about the badges or the proofs, then it you can pretty much stop there. Okay, well, I'll get into that another time. But uh, overall, that was the symphony. That is the tomes as the conclusion of King of Fighters. So I hope this helps you. Casual Chrono, signing out.